Welcome back guys to Trails in the Sky second chapter as a source for the quakes has been somewhat revealed as near Elmo the town with a little hot spring and creepy sheep surrounding it all around so with our party of female companions let's set out onto the trap planes road and go beat them up and probably bum into another shiny pom again and level up ridiculously because we know we can more or less avoid everything at this point because we've done all the sub quests we're story bound. He says. The roads feel empty without doing a battle or two. Especially when you probably want to gain some more CP, right? I mean, we only got like. T Tia's not got enough CP, right? Tia's just not got enough CP. How are we supposed to deal with this? We need some more CP. Go whip that one, Cher. That way, Chloe can attack this one here. 200 CP. 200 CP. Tita can get a double kill. I know it's the Razzle Gate to show you all to like, comment, and subscribe. Ah, Shill, shill, shill. Shill, shill, shill. Thank you very much. <laughs> so this is a regular thing now. It appears it, doesn't it? No, Tita, we need you to get the last attack. You better be able to walk two centimeters. Get to 100 CP, Tita. Now we're ready to roll, right? We did it. A whole 14 experience, because of course we're so high leveled right now. Come on, Shining Bombs, where are you? Let me beat you up. I've got all this X. I've got all this CP ready, you know. Uh, oh, that's a fungory thing. No, I want to call them fungals. It's fun of fancy. Slipping in. But here we go, to the town of Elmo. So what's going on here? Ah, good, good, you're here. Old woman's voice. M Mrs. Mao! We were here not that long ago, Tita. Hello again. Murdoch called ahead of you lot. Tell me what's happening. There have been earthquakes all over the region, eh? Odd. Odd nothing. This whole thing is bizarre. But maybe you can help us. Actually, I'd like you to turn that around. I was about to contact the guild anyway. Something strange happened just a few hours ago. What? An earthquake hit here too? I must wish. An earthquake might be less destructive. Well, picture's worth a thousand words, eh? Come see for yourself. You didn't destroy the hot spring, did you? Oh, it's overheating? It's the hot spring ever? What in the... Springs are boiling over! God, I hope someone wasn't in there at the time. That'd be a horrible way to go. This really is bizarre. The water isn't supposed to get this hot. Believe me, I'd like to know what's going on here too. Right after I got off the phone with Murdoch, I heard a big fuss out here. I came out to see what was going on and found this. Maybe the pump is broken somehow? It might be emitting heat or... Wait, no, it couldn't heat all this water. Now, the pump's working just fine. I checked it a second ago. The way I see it, something at the source of the springs must have changed. So I'm guessing temperature changes on this aren't too common. It's never happened while I've been here, and I've been here half a century. It's worrying to say the least. To be honest, this may have something to do with the earthquakes. If something is stimulating the septium veins, might that heat the water further? Oh, that's really likely, actually. And if the water keeps getting hotter, the springs will be too dangerous to live near. Like heck will let that happen. Come on, let's go find the problem. Mrs. Mao, where exactly is the source for the springs? Would you mind if we investigate the problem? I thought you might ask that, so I fished this out of the back of the drawer. Go on, take it. Still received the wooden gate key. A key? Mm-hmm. It's the key to the wooden gate near the pump shed. The cave down to the source of the springs is that way. Sweet. Thanks, Mrs. Mel. I didn't know there was a cave like that. You're always so on the ball, Mrs. Mel. Thank you. Oh, don't worry. We're the ones asking you for a favor, after all. I can't well let the customers boil themselves like eggs, and we can't even use our water for washing. I'm counting on you to all get to the bottom of this. You can bet we will. Yes, people boiling themselves like eggs. Well, wait. We'll be entering the cave we know little about to investigate the temperature increase and the earthquakes. I think it'd be wise to make absolutely sure we're prepared before we go in. Yes, I suspect we might find a certain sunglasses wearing gentleman inside. We should be on our guard and prepare accordingly. Should we now? I'm almost sad near it. Just imagine, like, springing up and hitting you on the face. The burns. Good luck investigating the spring source. If things continue on like this, we're out of business. Yeah, you're telling me. What a scoop. I I've got to get my camera ready and grab a picture. 
N no, wait. Shouldn't I get the situation written down first? Okay, come then. Think calmly. Oh, yeah, first I need to grab some photos. Uh, all right, time to shoot. Y you get on that. The yeah, kids stay away. Oh, how can we make hot spring boiled eggs like this? They'd be hard boiled in a second. Well, then you take it out like in half a second. Duh. Hot water's boiling. Is this really happening? To be honest, I don't know how boiling hot this is boiling. If it's boiling, it might just be exactly right for making hot spring boiled eggs. Just take a burn here with you. It'll be fine, yeah. If the hot springs are done for, so am I. Please hurry up and fix this somehow. My store lives and dies on the patronage of bathing guests. I wonder what everyone in the inn is talking about at this point in time, to be honest. It's going to be a pretty shocking turn of events. All right, just making sure I've got some... Uh, Good supplies here. Got lots of EP charges. Got a fair bit of food otherwise. Should be okay. I guess we're going to find that we well, We know what's going to be on the newspaper next time, don't we? Boil over of Elmo Springs. The springs get so hot that they boil. I wonder what happened underground. I was wondering where the other people were. There's a bit of a loading screen between that room and that room. Fishing spot. I bet I can fish here, really? That's, that's where we want to fish? That's where we usually get books. Whatever then. I'll give it a go. This is exactly the right time, you know. We go fishing instead of, like, caring about what's actually happening. It's not a very good spot. Probably not with that rod. I don't know. A small and medium fish should have been fine. Unless there's only big fish in there. Massive fish. It's just going to end up fishing their koi carp in their koi carp pond. You get books from thinking, no, we got a book for a quest there last time in FC. It was wrapped in, it was wrapped up and put behind the statue, if I remember correctly. It was one of the free books we had to find. Sure is noisy out there. What's going on out front? When some monsters wandered in, you'd have thought the like the inn lady would have warned that guest. Like, by the way, the inns are out of order at the moment. Uh, the, the the hot springs they're out of order at the moment. Uh, you know, don't get in, you might boil. So if Horace has paid to stay at the inn and he hasn't been informed by the management, what if he just gets in because he's like really short sighted and I don't know. What if you gotta watch out for these? Just think about this person, right? But look at the pipes. Oh, the pipes run that way. But there's got to be a lot of emanating heat coming out to this person. Ah, oh, what a mess. The hot springs are no good. The inn can't keep a business. Perhaps there was a change in the earth. Yeah, the earth. Don't warn the guests. Then you can charge them for ointments when they burn themselves. Oh, is that is that the plan, is it? All right, there's still a lot there, so we can't even take a look. But finally, we get to go through this gate that we saw all that time ago. A new area in Zeiss. Rebrand the hot spring as the world's largest soup bowl? No, just call it the hottest spring. It's not quite lava, but still. Ah, oh, where are we going? Well, obviously to that cave is what I'd have to say, but there's still a way this way. So this is where the pumping system is apart from that. Doesn't seem to be any treasure chests or anything hiding around the place. Oh, we're going to be stuck with that gurgling noise for quite some time. All right, mo monsters are within this cave. Oh. Oh. The hot springs fountainhead. Have I got to watch out for water damage? How's that? It's really boiling in here. If you fell in there, the burns could kill you. It's scary. The water is certainly dangerous, but I'm not even more worried about the steam. The steam is harder to avoid and just as hot and dangerous as the water. That's a very good point. The geezers seem to follow a pattern. We should watch them carefully and move when we have an opening. Okay, follow me. Oh no, I'm going to burn myself to death? This sounds horrible! Don't give me elements I have to dodge now! There's monsters everywhere. We want to engage them in battle so we can figure out what their abilities are. All right, we've got the usual jet tortoise. We have our normal... Damp crawler. But we have the Parasite Prima, an insect monster that prefers warm climbs, sucks fluid out of prey for nutrients. And we have the Lark Cactus, 
Prickly plant monster shoots needles and vibrates the air to enhance allies. Seems like that thing needs to die first, doesn't it? Then it all matters about how much damage we can do in one attack. Especially when we can't really hit there, but then we've got like stuff like stupidly good smoke cannon to use. Which is why Tina never has much CP. Because that is so much damage. A little bit of stabby's never bad. Alright, Sherry, you're on a crit. I just go for the tortoise or should I just wait to use a spell on you? Well, it seems that bug's gonna go next unless I kill it. Oh! And that's a bad miss. Kind of equaled out a little bit. Make sure the lark cactus can't vibrate. And we still got the turtle to get rid of. And considering Tita can get a double shot on there. We're pretty sure it's going to cast something silly. I mean, it's weak to Aquably. We can get that off first. Why not? In ascending order. One, two, three, four. The assumption is it would have shielded itself. And we're actually getting experience from this area. Uh, what? I thought we'd have been way out of that as Tina levels up. That was 100 worth experience for her. So the enemies here are a bit stronger than the rest of Zeiss. Okay, we've got to dodge out for that. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, you were facing this way? Oops. I didn't realize. Get in there. Thinking maybe we can status effect something. Nope, they're just gonna suck Estelle for a ton of HP now. Earth Guard onto that bug. Interesting choice. Nope, it just spoke spite to me. And is it like a little parasitical being in the top of the cactus that's actually alive here? Looks like it. So you're about to be Earth Guarded? Well, farewell. That just means that his spell target will change to someone else. So let's go with the Aqua Bleed to finish him off before he manages to cast it. And apart from that, I don't think there's anyone else I can really do much on apart from just finish you straight away. That is a cactus. It's, it's a lark cactus. Not so much a bird, more a cactus. Stop hitting me! Right, do I try to just take out Mr. Cactus ASAP? Considering he's got the buffs. Thinking Sheriff should have enough to deal with it. And between the two here, especially with Tita's cannon power, I don't see the parasite living much longer. experience from this place. Let's see how much grinding is through it, because this is really what our chapter's dungeon actually is at this point. Also, lack of map means we get highly confused as to where we're supposed to be going. Well, not one of them! I think it's facing me. Can I get you to turn around or are you just blocking the way you get? I remember fighting this guy before. The fairy epitaph. Giant ant hill turned monster's nest, fires powerful forming acid and petrifies foes. Yes, yes you do. It's nasty. We don't really want to get hit by you. So we're going to go up. True hurricane high up. And basically separate Estelle as... Target premiere. Poor Estelle. She's going to have a very bad day. Mind you, they are all gathering up quite nicely. Oh, and then Estelle gets killed. <laughs> well, that went well. Okay, sorry. 
We could kind of guess that was coming, to be fair. But this will help me sort out the rest, so... It was one of those calculated, this is, this is how it's going to go down moments, right? It's calculated. Alright, we didn't have fellas or anything for you, just Tear. Where's my resin things? Do I not have any? Yeah, I do have reviving bombs. There we go. I'm out of range. I'm out of range. That's not good. Let's mess up our enemies a bit more then. So that's changed the target fireball X to be completely off. Right, imagine this thing can't reach me and then we can get Felas on the next turn. I thought my game frozen! Ah, Rotina! Alright, we didn't have Felas with you. We know that much. We'll channel an arc from far away. Anything will do quite well. Oh, wait a second, you went for- yes! She went very fast. Was not expecting. Alright, do I just kill this thing and let Estelle stay down? <laughs> or not, at this point? Because I could just wipe it out and then revive her off yes! till. She wouldn't get any experience for the fight. My poor sacrificial Estelle. <laughs> it was part of the strategy, honest. Literally 100% why I put her up there. <laughs> oh, I feel I feel like a bad bad person now. The way it had to be. Alright, well, we got past that thing to get to a treasure chest, which is what I was expecting. One tier of arm. We're sorry, the Iron Fairy Temple stopped this chest yet. Yeah, please come visit again soon. Was it worth it? But that was the strategy I was ah! <laughs> trying to employ. Let's go this way next. Go, go, go. Oh, why are there all these stupid ant hills? Your petrified doom on you. You know what, actually, when I think about it. Stell, you've got Silver Chain Prevents Poison. Do we have Prevent Petrify? Do you know what? Let's put the Mirage Ring so she can do that. It doesn't even come for me! It doesn't even move! It was Nightmare, it's gone now. Uh, yeah, you can walk past, it's fine. So I need to go right, and there's be another Giza. And go this way, and we should have explored all the other paths at the start. I'd rather put back the percent, prevent poison thing again now. They don't even move, you can walk straight past them. No, I thought it was going to spurt again! Right, some Yakar. If I remember their names correctly. Spitting at me. Yeah. How did we take them out nicely last time? Because they've got a fair bit more HP than you'd expect. 
Will that put him in range of Tita's attack? Yes. We have our Oriel bum bum. Oriel? Yeah, Oriel bum bum can. I was known as Tita. Works for me. Thing is, if I hit this guy, will it move out of range of Tita's blow up? Nope. Tina! Oreo bombardment, that's what she's firing. <laughs> we did it. Uh, well, it's not like Estelle was that far up on levels or gonna be that far behind, but it does seem weird that she's now behind Chloe and Shara for experience. But they're not far from leveling up again, to be honest. Look at the bubbly lands. Can we get. If there were any fish there, they're not there anymore. <laughs> I was wondering if it would attack me or not. Let's get preemptive. Ain't no fish there anymore. I tell you that, sir. Not one fish survived from that land. Not one fish. It's still alive in that pool. We got one at sleep foe. The cactus has been dealt a bit of damage. So has Turtlin. One thing that was really lost out of all this is that Estelle lost quite a bit of CP. Oh well, we got two foes asleep, so that's two foes we now don't even need to give a crap about. Can Chloe get in there and kill that guy? That'd be pretty handy. Yeah! So basically everyone is asleep. They can't do anything. Apart from this guy, who we could just do this to. Yeah. Dina, I'm petrified. Alright, who's next move? Let's get rid of the light cactus. And then finish up on the little buggy. One more? No, more than one battle for a level up. And we'll see in the treasure chest. Smelling salts. You see a heart carved around Adol at plus Togi. Where did this chest come from? Yes. Where did it come from? It came from the fanficers. It came from the shippers of the... Whoa! Why are you doing this game? I think my game is having some weird hiccups at the moment. Maybe it's this place. Hmm. A bit worried about the, the weird jumps that we're having. Alright, well, I'll just take this treasure chest, thank you. A rainbow surprise. We've now learned how to make it. You ship a doggy? Is that what it's called? Is it a doggy? Well, no matter what, we should just be able to beat up on this turtle quite horribly. I love how Tita's got the power galore versus it, and now it's petrified, which means you'll take extra damage. Got no chance of surviving. Do you prefer Doggo? I don't know why I prefer. Except that gave no experience, so because they were the older enemies. Feel very small next to the black boy in that chest. Because they were older enemies, we didn't get really any experience whatsoever. I probably should make my run for it now. Not another one. I'm waiting for the trick one. The one that just suddenly starts spurting again. That'll be sucky. Like that miss was. I kind of worked out for that. They very much like to cross-reference between their games then, don't they? I wonder if there is an East game where I haven't noticed a Trails reference yet. I mean, after all, we've, we've got through five East games, right? 
So where might have I missed the reference? Let's get our level up. Before we fight Monsieur Chester Monster. Mishi, I just assume, is just an all-around mascot at this point. But I could be wrong! Stab him! You thought that being petrified would make it fall to the ground and shatter? That'd be kind of cool. Mishi is from Michigan. Yeah, sure. I wonder if the game has known issues within this place and are being a bit weird, frame ratey, jumpy, laggy. Or if it is just my game right now. But we got one level up. Chloe's got all her lovely, lovely EP back. I'm going to keep saving fervently in here, just in case we do have some kind of game crash. Maybe I have to reload the game. Because we know... Oh, we got some Gemini moves. There might be in here, it might be a chess monster. Who hides their valuables in chess out in the open? It's supposed to be a modern nation, you know? Eh, modern-ish. I feel like I've got a lot of slowdown, though. Right. Gemini boots. They're for men, yes? No, nope, they're for women. Decorative shoes, pretty armoured with star plates. However, I will lose speed for that big defence game, which is 10 defence. Who do I currently have with Gemini boots? You and... You're with fire boots. It's going to be an even... No, it's not going to be an even bigger increase for you. Ah, I see. The problem is, is that we have... Yeah. So we went for stats with the others, didn't we? Well, you're in the midst of everything now, so let's lower your speed and all that a little bit. I'll give you the Gemini boots so you, so you can tank a little bit more if we do a, a sacrifice Estelle for the greater good plan. Question is, have I explored every route? Where am I now? I have no clue where I am. I'm back here again. Okay. Did I go circle route or was that just an in and out route? I don't even know. I don't know. Well, I haven't been this way, but this way looks dangerous. Uh oh. Maybe I shouldn't have just stayed there in the middle of everything then. That said, these monsters are crap. They don't give us much of a choice in getting good damage steam. And that should move them both so Tita can shoot both the worms. Estelle should be able to finish that one off on the second attack. And they're only they're only gonna give us what is crap is they're only gonna give us free experience. This pack is so useless to fight apart from Seth, it's unreal. Running! That was a dead end! <laughs> Chloe got hit, but Chloe's okay. It was a dead end. I'm trying to leg it past to get away from the doom. So it's not as painful as you would think, then. Right, this way looks definitely like a right way, then. And this guy didn't move. Let's just walk past him, yeah. Oh, that's to the next area? Okay. I'm gonna sneak behind you again, because you don't move. It's all good. And we're gonna go this way. When this geezer goes. Okay, now this, 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 this is the monster chest. Or not. We got blue cashmere. Haha, <laughs> you thought taking that would make me weak, but you've only awakened my true power. Okay. What is it? I would like your true power. Blue cashmere. Wasn't that a guy's only one? Can't remember anymore. No, it wasn't. Woman woven from the wall of a blue coat sheet monster's creepy. We gave the other one to Tita, right? 
Yes. So again, let's keep powering you up. Which gives you a ton of ADF, so great. Well, the try not to really sacrifice the stealth strategy. Right, now where are we going? Well, there's a Yaka. That should give us a level up on a couple of characters. So Stell and Sherry should level up in this fight, if I'm right in saying. It's too bad you can't, like, oh, no, that would be a bit. Actually, when I think about it, I'll, I'll shut up now. I was thinking, like, maybe you could maneuver them. Because there's the keys up top right there. What if you could maneuver them to that and then they take, like, steam damage? That'd be cool, he says. Then he thinks about it and goes, what if I get maneuvered into the steam damage? Oh, yeah. That'd be crap. Let's not let that happen. Good miss. Geezer, geyser, whatever. Schmeezer, schmeizer. Well, level me up. Level 53. Tila's the next level, over 400 experience away. I did not even realize that water thing was there. And, um, oh, this looks like an interesting path. This is the problem. Which way's the right way and which way's the wrong way? Can't always go by the which way's right way or wrong way's whichever way. The monsters are dead. Both are wrong. That could be true. Okay, now everyone's experience gains have gone down quite a bit compared to what they were getting before. Is that going to bubble over and shoot? Ah, or is it more a case of all roads lead to rope? Or not, because I just went the right way! What the heck is this? It's spread all over the ground. Glowing veins of... In the way. It can't be. <laughs> Damn it. You sure know how to keep a guy waiting? Hey! What? I'm not ready! A man with sunglasses? And a gospel on the pole? Well then. Evening ladies. Good of you to come all the way out here. I'll do what I can to make you feel nice and welcome. You, you're one of Ouroboros' thugs, aren't you? <laughs> Enforcer number eight. Walter the Direwolf. That's what they call me at any rate. The pleasure is all yours, trust me. I'd assume you were the one behind those earthquakes then. Come on, let's knock it off the obvious and just get down to it. This pole is a little trick the society's brains came up with to mess with septium veins. It normally just screws with the vein directly beneath it. You plug a gospel into this thing though, and you can cause a local earthquake or two. That's what I was asked to test. You were asked to? You'll test to finish then? Yeah, real shame too. What I wanted to do was work up enough power to shatter buildings. Couldn't quite get it to hit with that much force though. Wait, but, 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 if the buildings collapse, all the people outside inside would get hurt. <laughs> you catch on quick, little girlie. Someone will get crushed on the rubble, their arms and legs mashing into jelly, less screaming like pigs. Others, they get quick deaths. Has shattered like eggs, spilling their brains out on the road for everyone to see. Hey, I've got an idea. How about we do that to you instead? That blonde head of yours looks pretty fragile to me. Ah, no, get away! You unbelievable son of a... Ah, now what's with those faces? I've been doing you all a favor. You see, I just think the dreary soggy porridge in most people's lives needs a little spice. Real suspension, no? The kind that leaves you in a cold sweat? Push to the point where you could die at any second. Come on, don't tell me I don't have your heart pounding. Well, congratulations. You are now the worst man I've ever known. I think I see your plot now, however. You lured us here deliberately, didn't you? What? You allowed yourself to be seen all over the region, and Elmo's hot springs boiled over immediately after the earthquake at least in Fortress. You were issuing a challenge to us, weren't you? Oh, crap. <laughs> well... Close enough for a brace of work, I guess. Enough talk. Let's see what you're made of. Ah! Why worms? The heck are those? These are some worms that live in this area. Apparently, when you stimulate the septium veins, they grow as huge as these guys here. Well, they're fun, ladies. Oh, what the heck is this? 
You rotten coward, fight is fair and square! Don't let him distract you, Estelle. We need to defeat the worms first. Defend yourselves! And it's a surprise attack. And with little bugs! Everyone gets to go first as well. Oh, maybe I should have taken that as a critical that point. I don't know. Okay, the big bugs aren't going to get to move fast. Oh, here we go. So they can just do a spark attack. I was wondering if they would do an AoE. This is going to be complicated because we basically got to get everyone out of the area. We either have to gang up on one and just destroy it, maybe? Or we could let them gather up and then use stuff like Aerial to also do mass damage. It's kind of a weird thought. Yeah, this isn't good. Guys, come on. It's like we need them out of range, but we also need them to be able to just act and destroy at this point too. And we need to take out the nearby guys, but we also need to take out these. So, in the thought that they'll move forward, or won't actually when I think about it. This could be nasty, but we do have panic button. Remember, we have panic button. Everyone's generally going to move quite fast here. Let's get rid of the little bugs. Oh, whoa! Well, you insta-killed them? Oh, I don't need to use the aerial on me, then. We're a bit more powerful than those bugs. Alright, they're super weak to win, so we'll take that damage there. We got rid of the small bug. We've got a critical coming up, so maybe we should actually just bust one out. And smash someone down. Yeah, that didn't do anything again. Great. That one shouldn't reach. Okay, they do have a straight AoE. Brilliant. Yeah. Great. Alright, I need to take this one and we need to go ham on someone. Why are you pause there? Still got health. We should survive another turn no matter what. That's gonna hit one person. So we can use Felas to get one person alive and keep them going. So that's not horrible. Alright, apart from that. Do I wanna just go in and move up a little bit on these? I don't know how much damage to take physically, but it does push them away a bit more. Alright, we do have this. That'll keep everyone alive versus what's coming our way. And then apart from that, in terms of crafts... We should be able to hit two people who are blind here, which might finish off one. Oh, great. He didn't get that guy. I mean, we are fending them off. We're not letting them get quite in range, but... They're coming. I guess they're going to do some quite nasty damage at close range. Well, Stell's ready to go. Can you heal? Yeah, the problem is Tita. So I might just call you forward and use the thing for the extra defense right now. That will make some really awkward timings, though. Now, let's get the extra defense. Now. 
We're about to kill one. So that will cut the damage quite a bit as well. I'm just wondering again if I want to just use Tita to nuke one horrifically. It's, the annoying thing is just that we can't really get more than one. I'm expecting that guy here to die, so... Let's get Tita to nuke the other one. Wow, that's terrible! Okay, just attack normally that guy. And that will leave us a lot better off for just finishing off a foe or two. That gets rid of two close... Well, guys from one side. I didn't nuke at all there. Because it's still a base one. And it's not on a critical, whereas the Stales is brilliant because she's got herself a secondary version. Now, if these guys don't want to move at me, that's great. So I can get some good aerial positioning. We can do quite mass damage on multiple opposition. My only worry is how much physical damage they do when they're getting so close to Chloe. Defense up is really going to help right now as well. And we're also going to be banking some more CP at this point. Which isn't too bad, because I think we can definitely take another attack. So, considering they are weak to aerial, let's just keep hitting these guys then. Because if this guy used Earth Shaker, which he's not going to use, Tita could use her special cannon to kind of work things out a little bit more. That guy's barely had any damage done to him. Now, do I boost up here? Do I let Shara take the critical? Oh, I've got Aerial as well. Hmm. And I should be adding in as much damage as I can, shouldn't I? Okay, the AoE's working out for us. We've got several turns of these attacks to come. That's another one. Tia's on a crit. Do I just let her smack that guy? Or do you think Estelle will kill him? I'll trust Estelle to be able to do at least 866. She's not strong in the arts department. I'm trusting in you here. Good. Only one worm remains. Gonna give us a bit of extra CP in the meantime though. I'll take it. Get away from me, wormy. Right, do I charge up lots of arts or make sure I'm healed? Arts. So close. I think we should be able to finish this off with one more blast. Tina! Thank God they could barely move. Ooh, that was a little bit when gigantic worms are advancing on you. It's Tina levels up. But now what? We may have defeated all the worms that were after us, but there's still a member of Ouroboros standing right there with a weakened group. Tina learned chain too. Gotta think about the realisticness of this. This just weakens me. Okay, we managed to win, and I think I still have most of my limbs. Phew. Phew. Those creatures were incredibly powerful. Hmm. I might have expected a bit much. I thought that fight would be a little less pathetic. 
You underestimate us at your peril, dire wolf. We slayed monsters like your pets many times before. Screw it. It's just sad. I didn't think you'd be this weak. What? I'm disappointed in you, worms. Ah! What? You can't just one-shot me. This is bullshit. Lo was talking out of his ass again. He tells me the Divine Blade isn't the only one in Laval who might give me a run for my money, and this is what I get? That... No. One of them four, then. I just have to sweet talk the Professor and let me hunt old Fangboy. It'll be a little more exciting than this, at least. What? H hold on! What? You can still talk? You disgusting sicko! Listen to me. You mean Joshua when you say Fangboy? I will never let you hurt him! Estelle! I give you props on taking my punch and still being able to stand. But give it up, I can see your knees buckling. You really think I care about that? I'll find Joshua. I'll bring him home. And I won't let scum like you get in my way! Estelle! You get why they call me the direwolf, right? I don't hold back for women or kids. Or both. You're a martial artist. Sort of. I hope you know what you're asking for by pointing that thing at me. Of course I do. You think you can beat me? Come on! <laughs> nice. Tell you what, I respect your guts. You'll die in one blow. I'll make it quick. No! Estelle! Estelle, run! Die. Huh. What? <laughs> A perfect entrance, my friend! Olivier! And Sin! Hey Estelle, feels like it's been ages. I meant to come sooner, but we're back home to longer than I expected. I'm glad to see I made it in time. Don't tell me you didn't think that. <laughs> <What I'm laughs> Don't yeah, exactly. Don't tell me you didn't time that one on purpose, Sin. <laughs> so you're the A-rank Bracer Low mentioned. Perfect. Been a while, Sin. That's right, Walter. I hardly expected to meet you here of all places, though. I always knew you had the mind of a wolf, but tell me. When did you develop the heart and loyalty of a serpent? Oh, that'd be right after we met last. I've been having the time of my life since I joined the society too. You blind fool. Did you even realize what you've done? What you're doing? It would break Master's heart to see. Spare me the righteous claptrap. You know better than anyone the path I've chosen. You can talk in nonsense and I will kill you. Got it? I wonder. Do you even know? Killika's up there, in Zeiss. What? She's been working there as the guild receptionist for the past two years. Before then, she was wandering the continent. The hell? Why bother coming to a backwater place like the Burl? What's she thinking? I don't know either, to be honest. But I do know that even now, she wants to see you. Set aside this Ouroboros madness, Walter. Go see... Nua! I told you. Talk nonsense, I kill you. <laughs> well, hey! Forget Kilika. You've been here just made my year. This plan of the professors is gonna be a whole lot of fun. Wait, Walter! You ladies keep working on your kung fu until next time. See ya. Walter! Um, thanks for saving us, Sin. Why are you here, though? I stopped by the Zeiss branch and Killika began fussing at me a little. She told me to hurry on over to Elmo to join forces with you. And do you think I would miss an entrance to Spectacular? I simply had to come as well. So we have Killika to thank. Well, thank you too. You really saved us there. Putting that aside, though, Sin, you actually know that psychopath? How is that even possible? He's... He's not acquaintance. I'll explain in detail once we return to the guild. The water's device gone, the dragon veins are calming, so this hot spring should cool down. Estelle's group took the chance to relax in the springs once they returned to the surface before going back to Zeiss. I'm glad they cooled down a bit before they went in. I think there's a steam effect that was causing those slowdowns. I see. So the man in sunglasses was Walter, as I thought. Yeah, wait. What? As you 
You suspected from the beginning. When I heard his physical description in clothing, I thought it might be possible. More to the point, you were careless. How could you allow him to escape with a gospel? Oh, come on. I didn't think it was that important. Do you forget that you're the one who shoved me off toward Elmo without so much as half an explanation? That was a mistake on my part, yes. I thought, however, that you wouldn't need me to spell out every single detail for you, Zin. Ah, you're far less cute when you do that, you know. Regardless, Estelle Bright, your investigation into the earthquakes is complete. Allow me to give you your compensation for this mission. And so we've received payment for the earthquake investigation. Got some extra BP by the look of it. No extra mirror, though. We are an E-class bracer. Oh, we're still getting the slowdowns. I do need to restart again. Receive payment for investigating the epicenter. That's 6 BP with 2 plus extra. 5,000 in cash. Thanks, Killica. But, uh, it sounds like you two know that nut in the glasses. What's up with him? We do. Now do I even begin? Quite simply, Zin, Walter, and I, we were fellow students. Walter was the elder student. Elder student? You mean he was your elder in martial arts, then? Well, to be precise, Killica wasn't a student. Or just a student, anyway. She was Master Ryuga's... My part does not matter. Also, is a student of the Taito style. And six years ago, we left the dojo. And it seems he was recruited by Ouroboros soon after. That should explain everything. Killika. No, that's... all we need to hear. She's right. So, he uses the same Taito style as the two of you, hmm. That explains his monstrous strength, at least. He's even stronger now than he was in the dojo. It's safe to say he's a true master of the style now, I think. What is probably safe to say is that he is incredibly dangerous. It seems likely we won't be dealing with any more earthquakes, however. It is probably safe to relax our guard. A bit. Seems like it. I'll let the citizens and workers know. They usually had another gospel, though. And they were using it in conjunction with some kind of machine which could stimulate septium veins. Also, remember what Blue Blank did with that hologram projector beneath the academy. Whatever the gospel may be, it is definitely capable of forcing other orbital devices into feats which greatly exceed their original designs. I believe you are correct, my lady. Holographic projection and excitement of septium veins are both possible in theory. What they do with these gospels, however, is completely beyond our understanding of mobile technology. And I don't mean just my understanding. I can't imagine anyone I know at any famous factory managing any better. It's true. I doubt either the Verne Company in Calvard or the Reinford Company in the Empire could do such things. Even the Epstein Foundation, for all this progress in tactical ordnance, couldn't manage such feats. In other words, the society's got crazy super technology nobody else does. Indeed. They must have someone of tremendous genius and skill working for them. <laughs> Well, I'll just have to show them what for. Grandpa. I suppose we have no choice now. We've finished the RCL's new Orbital Engine 2, so we have free capacity. We'll devote the Central Factory's full resources to analysing the Gospel sample we have. <laughs> of course we will. If you can figure out what the Gospels are, it'll be a big help. I mean, who knows what else they're going to use them for after this. Their agents keep talking about experiments as well. Somehow I find it hard to believe they'll only stop at two. And Professor Russell will be taking care of the analysis of the Gospel. I believe it would be best if your group moved on, Estelle. Yeah, I agree. We didn't catch the bad guy, but there won't be any more earthquakes, at least. Any suggestion on where to go next, Kilika? A central branch of the guild in Gransel sent us a request for aid. They claim to have received an official mission directly from the leadership of the Royal Army. The Royal Army? You mean from Dad? They did not share any details. They did, however, request all of you by name. There's a good chance this involves Ouroboros. Probably, yeah. Well, we can hardly turn down an invitation from the capital now, can we? And it's decided. Once we finish our last bits of business in Zeisel, let's board the next flight to the capital. Sounds like a p Wait, we? Zin, are you come with us? Hey now, why do you think I came all the way back here? Not only is Walter on the prowl, but you are still searching for Joshua, yes? You can bet I'll help you, in any way I can. Ah, oh, thanks, Zin. Having you with us will be like having a hundred men on our side. That theme of the sunglasses did nearly break us like twigs. If you can help us train to resist him, it would be a great help. Of course. His moves are pretty special, but I can teach you all some counters at least. Thank you. Um, Estelle, Shara, can I come too? Huh? Hmm? Well, um, society might use more weird devices or more gospels. I, um, I think I might be able to help if they do. Please take me with you. But, but, well, this is a bit of a pickle. I say it's up to Professor Russell, sir. Well, I have to say that the grandfather in me is filled with terror at the mere idea. But as you can see, my little Tita is quite stubborn, and I want to make her dreams possible whenever I can. Go ahead, Tita. I won't stop you. Grandpa! 
The robots clearly have a greater technological edge than we could have ever imagined. In that sense, Tita is absolutely correct. She could be a great help to you. I'd say you're getting quite a deal! You're not selling a new product here, Professor. Well, uh, I'll admit having Tita along would really help, but... But if someone like that man attacks us again, I... Um, well, it occurs to me, especially given what that madman said. I don't believe the society cares at all for the safety of civilians. I don't think we can really say she'll be all that safer here. Oh. In other words, she might actually be safer travelling with us, hmm. Or at least it's no more dangerous than staying here. I think so, yes. Chloe. Shara. Okay, okay, I get it. Come on, it's not like I wanted to say goodbye to Tidia either. Estelle! Uh, that is, well... Uh, anyway, we'll be counting on you, Tida. Okay. <laughs> well, good to see that's settled. Our little group grows lively all the time. Tita, do take care. I'll take care of unraveling the mystery of this gospel business while you're gone, don't worry. Okay, good luck, Grandpa. Don't worry too much about Professor Russell, everyone. I'll keep both eyes on him and make sure he doesn't cause any catastrophes. I'm counting on you, Mr. Murdoch. Oh, don't you have a church or something to run off to, Murdoch? <laughs> I will contact El Nan at the Grantle Guildhouse. May the blessings of she who dwells above be with you. Take care on your journey. And so we end our second chapter. Very much side content filled. Barely much main story to take part in. But we've met another member of Ouroboros. And yet again, couldn't even fight them. Barely survived. Not good. Not good. Not how we want things to go, that's for sure. Nice chapter, lots of sheep, 10 out of 10, of course. And so what are we up to next? Place some fortress? What's going on there? Oh, the RCL's ready. So the RCL's arrived, eh? Ah, damn. Every time I see the ship, my heart skips a beat. I hear you, boss. Who needs a guy or a girl when you can fall in love with something like that? I think there's an engineer alive who deserves to work on her every day, though. Hey, that's my life. Maintenance Chief Gustav, thank you for coming. I know you've been busy. Hey Sid, wasn't expecting you to come meet us. I thought you'd moved up in the world and left behind your job as a garrison commander here. <laughs> well, I have. I'm intending to leave aboard a patrol ship with my men later on. Until then, however, I'm free, so I thought I may as well come and greet you. Ah, well, good luck with the patrol, at least. Oh yeah, wasn't there an earthquake around here a bit ago? You didn't let anything happen to the RCL, did you? No, the RCL was in the air during the earthquake. The earthquake caused little damage in general, in fact. We prepared in advance for it. Our facility should still be perfect for your needs. Good to hear. Anyhow, we'd love to get down and work, but I'm wondering, where are all the Royal Guards folk? Ah, here, let me show you. We should be just in time for a bit of a show. Huh? Ooh, what? That's a show! Combatants at the ready! And begin! Yeah! Ah! Julia, your attacks are too predictable. With a rapier, you should be able to overwhelm me with moves only possible with a light blade. Remember what I taught you and come at me again. Sir. Yes, sir. Good. That's better. And now, my turn. Ah! 
Ah! Defense is the same way. Build an image of the flow of battle in your mind. Offense and defense and use to predict a foe's movement. Sir. Yeah! Enough. I call the match. I'll say, jumping around that much would be pretty tiring. <sighs> Another wit less than I expected. I only taught you the barest of basics all those years ago. But you've come far on your own, Julia. Well done. No, sir. My performance was shameful. I <sighs> could not best you. Don't disparage yourself, Schwartz. That was a fairly impressive display. But General, remember who you're fighting, Captain. I've yet to meet a man or woman who can match blades with Cassius without having their sword swept from their hand in a few strokes. You did very well for yourself. I see why Cassius and the Majesty placed such stock in you. Th thank you, sir. So a chance to practice like this doesn't come up very often. I'll let's continue until I'm truly unable to fight, if you don't mind. Ha 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 ha! Good! Well, Cassius, up for risking a screwing again? She may well manage it this time. Although I'd be humble to get poked down a peg. But I believe we have a visitor. Huh, dang, that was one heck of a show! Well fought, both of you. Captain Schwartz, that was very impressive. Lieutenant Colonel Sid! And the man with you is... Main is Chief Gustav, ma'am. The Central Fetcher sent me over. Nice to meet you, Captain. Oh, pardon me. I'm Captain Julius Watts, Company Commander of the Royal Guard. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Gustav. Hmm, it seems that will be all for today, then. Alright, lads. Show's over. Back to your posts. Sir! So, mind showing me to the RCL's engine room? I'd like to get an idea of how we're going to attack this. Certainly. Follow me. You'll have to excuse me, General Morgan. General Bright. General, thank you very much for your guidance. <laughs> Not at all. These old bones needed to work out anyway. Captain, Mr. Gustav, take care with the RCL. Sir. No worries, General. The RCL's like my baby. No one let it down. Captain Schwartz has gotten quite impressive. I swear she's even better than when I saw her last. Yes, she's come a long way, very quickly. Even now she's only a step or two below you and Richard, Colonel, and she can only grow. Indeed, watching youth on display like that gives me back a bit of my old drive. Cassius, how about it? I'll give you a screwing later if you're up for it. Uh, Morgan, I'm not sure it'd be the best idea at your age. Mm -hmm. Besides, I heard you did quite well for yourself at last year's tournament in Gransdall. You have to let the lot young folks have their moment occasionally. Hmm. What do you think I gave you command? <laughs> Why do you think I gave you command what? So you can join my lot tournaments? <laughs> no. If you can say that, how about you stop complaining and do your job, em? Ouch, put my foot right into that hornet's nest. <laughs> Speaking of a hornet's nest, the Lieutenant Colonel, I believe you'll be assigned to the guard patrol? Yes, sir. I'll be leaving at noon. I'll be using three companies and two patrol ships. I'll be at the signing ceremony itself, but I won't be free until then. You're in charge of the defense of Gransdall until then. Leave it to me, sir. I'll be sure to work well with the Bracer Guild to make sure that nothing happens. Hmm. I don't like it, but I suppose we've little choice but to lean on those civilians this time. <laughs> Warming up to the Guild, little Morgan. Oh. And while they're busy performing inside... Someone's watching outside. Watchtowers, orbital sensors, a mined harbour, and gun emplacements covering all approaches. A perfect defense in every way. If that's the way you want to play, Cassius Bright, I'll just have to change the rules of the game a little, as suggested. Sir, just wait a little bit longer. Your freedom is coming soon, Colonel. I promise. And so begins Chapter 3, The Mad Tea Party. Please form your pie. You may choose two other members aside from the mandatory members. Okay then, Sherry is mandatory. So who do I want in? Well, Zin's level 54. 
Olivier has uh, dropped down in levels a little bit. I mean, again, we've got Super Healer, which is... And Zin's, like, too high level. I don't know. I'm still, like, going, like... That's what I'd go with for now to kind of raise Olivier up a little bit. Poor Zin. You're always overleveled. Okay, next stop, Gransel. We'll head to the dock once everyone is ready. It's a request from the military, so I don't think we should dawdle too long. We should have time to finish any stray jobs or stray shopping before we have to go, though. Off we go. Too high level. He's only one li level higher than everyone else as well. Right, well... Now's as good a time as any to see if I can restart the game. To see if that will stop those little bit of slowdown issues. So let me do that with a pair of editing for the YouTube, the stream. Hang on, sites. We're going to see if this reboot will work nicely. Let's give it a go. And so after a restart, we hope everything, fingers crossed, is okay. And we don't get any more of those weird slowdown issues. The only way to really find out is by doing battle, right? I've even restarted the PC, so if it was that, we're sorted and we're done as we start off another chapter. Or we don't, because there's another quest literally right here, right now. So, we're not leaving just yet. Zeiss. Zeiss still...